Hey guys, welcome back. This lesson is titled, Unmix Your Frequencies. I start out with this lesson in this particular course because, um, again, it is one of the balances to understand before we really proceed into overpowering or overwhelming our experience with our chosen frequency. Because oftentimes, we might have a desire, we might have an inspiration, we might think one thing, but actually believe another. And so it is very important to recognize within yourself when there is an energetic contradiction, when there is mixed frequencies. So let's say, for example, this is a very common example. A lot of people think that they have uh, or that they desire, say, a lot of wealth, financial wealth. They want a lot of money in their lives. So they might have, a, might ha they might have a thought um, that can either be inspired from a lack of money or believing that they're lacking something and that money would be able to enable them more of their free will, would enable them to get what they want, do what they want, when they want it more freely, etc. Um, or it might be, so it might be inspired from life's experiences and the lack beliefs underlying that or the discomfort created from not seemingly having enough money to do what we want to do. But it can also be inspired from, say, a grand vision that you have that you want to get going on, that you want funding for, etc. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's fine. Either way, it's pure ultimately because it springs from your experience of life and so you're, you're shooting this desire into your higher mind, so to speak, you're letting it know you're vibrating with this new passion, this day one intention, this desire. So that's great. It's a new frequency. It has somehow some relevance to where you want to go and who you really are and how you wish to expand. So there's no judgment on that from any way, from any angle. But let's say that you have that desire or that thought, I desire more money in my life. Um, that is activating the law of attraction as we speak. If that is what is stated, if that's your statement to yourself, if that's your understanding, your belief, your thought, your visualization, then most definitely you are in the process of attracting more of that into your experience because what you put out is indeed what you will start to see back more and more and more. Law of attraction. And so what's important to understand though is that a lot of times we might think that we want that but either it's truly not relevant for us, which is then a contradicting vibration. But in most cases, it's not even so much that it's truly not relevant for us. A lot of the times it's also more coming from a personal bias, meaning I might think I want a lot of money, um, but I might have a desire or sorry, a belief that suggests I'm unworthy of it or that, um, that I'm not going to be a pure spiritual teacher anymore if I get a lot of money, for example. So obviously apply this to your own life. If you have a thought about wealth and you're accessing that and you're creating that and you're attracting that to yourself, but consistently you're not really letting much flow or the abundance of freedom or free will into your life where you have the abundance to move as you wish to move and do what you want to do and go where you want to go when you want to do it or when it feels the most relevant and resonant to do so. If you seem to be consistently blocked in moving around the freedom of your life, because of financial non-wealth, for example, even though you think or visualize or intend for wealth to come your way, then you have to go and discover what the underlying belief or mixed frequency or contradicting vibration is that does not fully allow you to become a vibrational match to the experience of I am wealthy, I am free, I am abundant, and I can do whatever I want, of course, with integrity, but I can do whatever I truly desire to the best of my ability in total freedom and abundantly supported to do so. And I am abundantly supported to do so. If you are not a full vibrational match yet to that belief, to that understanding, to that vision of yourself, then by simply raising your frequency and embodying more of the Im image by visualizing or envisioning more what it would be like to have a lot of financial freedom and to have a lot of abundance and support in terms of going where you want to go when you want to go there, doing what you want to do when you want to do it, being who you want to be when you want to be that, etc. When you do raise your frequency, when you do start matching that visualization, that higher vibration will naturally point you to your contractions about that same vision. It will naturally show you when a little doubt shows um, 
or rears its ugly head, so to speak. When it shows up, when it springs out of the ground from your unconscious into your conscious, it's because you're forcing it out. It's because you're forcing it out with your vision of what you truly do think you want, at least what you at least think that you want, whether you truly want that or not will be disclosed in time as you go through that vibrational upgrade. But for now, all you know is that this is what you think you want. This is what you're inspired to attract to yourself. And so that vibration will force out all the negative beliefs surrounding that vision that are unconscious at this point, but it will be forced out. So envision what it is you desire. And the grandness of that vision will then push out the vibrations and the thoughts and the beliefs, will make them known to you, will make them be felt to you. And so then you have a chance to transform them and look at them and choose again and see if they are true or not. And if they're still sensible or sensical or logical to you or not. Now, if these limiting beliefs still are logical to you, then you will probably need to upgrade your vibration first in order to be able to see that, hey, no, I am supported. I am a valid part of creation and I do have access to all that there is and there is no limitation and there is only abundance and I can shift into parallel realities and I am supported with the love and the light of the one infinite creator and I am called into being for this desire and so I can achieve this realization because it's already in my field. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel such a passion towards it. And in that way, you can coax your ne negative beliefs to understand, to open up and to dissolve themselves in the light of understanding that indeed it is in full alignment for you to attract that particular reality. But you see, you have to unmix your frequencies first. Otherwise, you keep thinking about the abundance of one thing or about the attraction or pr presence of one thing. But simultaneously, you're actually feeling the lack of that one thing. Now, the most common example of this is that when we think we want something, we actually believe it's lacking already. And so because a lot of our desires are inspired from a lack of what we desire, we then desire it even more, but we come at that new vision with a skepticism, a vibrational skepticism, because we are coming from the place and the parallel reality where that which we desire is not present. Because that in most cases is what sparked the desire to begin with. Let's say the desire for more ab abundance or financial freedom or wealth, for example. So that comes from looking at your bank statement and you're like, man, I wish I had more money so that I could make this trip or go to Bentinho's retreat or go do this or go do that. And so out of the seeming lack of your financial wealth, and this is again, it's just one example, but apply to anything you desire. This is a very common example out of the seeming lack of your financial abundance and freedom to move around as you please, you will generate a stronger desire. And every time you feel the lack of your present circumstances, you start craving and desiring and intending for more and more money. So that's one thought. And that's a essentially before it gets filtered with lack, it is a positive attracting thought just, just as anything is activating the law of attraction when thought of, when felt, when inspired, when intended, when willed into being, when presented to creation, it starts attracting that reality or something commensurate to it or representative of that vibrational level. So the lack of money or seeming lack of money, the defined lack of money and your feeling of I am stuck in my present circumstances because of my money, therefore I can't move, but I want to move to this location instead. I want to go to this event or this retreat or this vacation. And so you spark, you amplify the desire for more financial wealth because you believe that's what you need to do what you need to do, which is fine. That's a fine belief. It makes sense from some points of view that you need certain things to do certain things. It's not the absolute truth by any means, but I understand. So that's the positive aspect. That's the, the desire is sparked. The intention is sparked. Now that's one frequency. But since so often it is sparked from a seeming lack of what we desire, we actually bring with us the assumption that things can't really change that quick or it can't really come to us this way or it's been the case otherwise for 10 years. I've lacked I've been lacking money for 10 years. That might be a belief system or I've never really had that. I don't even know what it would feel like to be able to do and go wherever I want to go and do what I want to do. It's not even part of my mindset. I'm not even thinking 
hey, what do I want to do next week or the week after? Where would I like to be? Would I like to be in this city or would I like to be in the countryside or would I like to be in that tropical island? We don't even really think in terms of we can create and attract whatever we want anymore because we've become so entrenched in the vibration of things move slow. They need, you need this in order to go do that. And so we have a lot of lack beliefs around, for example, financial abundance which really is just the permission slip for being able to do what you want to do and move around as you want to move around this planet. So just notice in your own life that a lot of your desires are sparked from the moment that you feel you're lacking freedom. You're lacking a certain kind of freedom and you think that in order to feel and experience that freedom fully in the expression of 3D realm of this illusion of this world, you need certain things. Again, that's all fine and well. That's not the obstacle to actually attracting that. The obstacle is that when you do think, I want money, or when you do, for example, visualize, I want the freedom to move around this planet and financial abundance to just flow to me. That is a beautiful desire and visualization and absolutely possible for every human being that intends that and visualize that and desires that. Because the law of attraction is attracting it to you right now if that's your desire. The obstacle comes in when you have a mixed vibratory pattern underneath that that is quite palpable that believes it cannot really achieve that or it's not worthy of it or if it does it becomes a bad person or it stands out in a negative way to everybody else etc so unmix your frequencies before you really start to overpower or overwhelm your circumstances with your chosen preference. When you start practicing, which I'll teach you in the next few lessons, to become blind to circumstances for the sake of being soaked in the vibration and the confidence of your chosen reality, even when physical reality does not yet reflect this circumstantially. In order for that to happen, a lot of the times we need to also be under, underneath that, we need to be okay with the things that we actually are inspired to create. We need to believe that we are worthy of our highest inspiration. We need to understand that if we are truly inspired in a certain direction, it's only because our higher minds agree to give us that inspiration and therefore it's already part of our creation and it's what we're totally capable of doing and achieving. And so um, we got to get to the core of our misbeliefs, of our negative definitions and resolve them to where we feel completely holistically aligned when we get a vision such vision such as financial abundance for example when we think of hey i'd love the freedom to move around this planet however i please this and stay wherever i want to stay it needs to feel totally good it needs to feel like a complete vibrational yes it cannot feel like oh that would be great but i don't think it's going to happen anytime soon or i need to start two companies before i can do that or some people are just luckier than i am or i just don't have the money and i need to spend my time doing this and this and this if you're thinking one thing but you're really feeling the lack of the thing that you're intending into creation you're not going to be able to in most cases 99 percent of the time you're not going to allow yourself to fully enjoy that new reality and it's not even going to really show up for you because of those mixed frequencies. So you might want one thing, but you might believe something that contradicts the achievement of that one thing. So this is what you need to look at within yourself. The best way to do that is again to make a list of two sides. One side you write down everything that you have the highest access to of what you desire. And on the other side, all the limiting beliefs that come up, the doubts that come up when you think of your highest vision, your highest version of yourself with the greatest amount of freedom to do what it wants to do when it wants to do so, of course, with integrity and alignment to its spirit and service to others. So when you tune into your highest desire and you write down this vision of yourself with all these aspects of like, okay, I want the freedom, the financial freedom to move around, to be able to book a flight to wherever. I want to be able to go to these events. I want to be able to go visit my family. I want to be able to bring a couple of friends with me and that not be a problem. So I want financial abundance. And I would also like this comfortable uh, car to be able to transport me every day. And I would also like to buy healthier foods that feel more vibrant and in alignment with my being. And I would also love to attract a really um, empowering partner to enjoy this journey with me. I'm just naming very beautiful human slash spiritual examples, same thing really, of what people often desire, just some common understandings of everyday lifestyle, abundance, freedom, health. 
um, which we obviously all desire for ourselves and ultimately for everybody else. And so this overall sense of physical happiness as well, which I'm not saying is not important, so definitely also include that in your capacity to attract that to yourself. But that needs to feel holistically good. You need to feel and know that you're worthy of it and that it's possible and even probable that it will happen for you. And that if you truly desire it, you already have it, it already belongs to you. And so you write down somewhere this vision of yourself. And as you start visualizing it and writing it down in between or at the same time, you will notice that you'll have little doubts come up or even big doubts come up. Um, so then write down the doubts somewhere else on a different piece of paper or around it somewhere or wherever you want to, however you want to allocate this on your little sketch. So write down your vision and then also write down whenever you feel doubts come up so that you make it clear to yourself that you have mixed frequencies. There's no problem in this. It's just why things aren't flowing very well when it comes to those particular visions. So now we have a chance to resolve it. So you can go back to one of the lessons in empowerment, for example, transforming limiting beliefs, or there's a similar lesson in enlightenment, but that's more to do with self-realization. But go through some of the lessons that you feel are permission slips and tools to transform limiting beliefs and to make you feel and see more clearly what you are capable and worthy of and that it is okay to receive a lot of freedom and financial abundance to do what you want to do and to be of service to the greater good in a way that's completely inspiring and passionate for you and that you are that your theme is tailored towards which you've discovered in um, in this course in the previous course sorry so then seeing these doubts gives you an opportunity and I won't go through the step-by-step -step process because I've done that many times in different ways in the previous lessons. So you can use whatever lessons you resonate with to then apply to these doubts that you've now made clear to yourself are present. So in this way, you're unmixing your vibrations. You're clearing out your closet of negative definitions. You're becoming a whole being so that now when a grand vision comes to you, you are instantly aligned and vibrant and excited about it. And if a doubt comes up, you see it instantly, you pay attention to it and you resolve it to the best of your ability. This is practice and you get better and better and better at it as you go and as you practice. So more and more you become this constant flow, this empty vessel of inspiration where things can just flow through you and be attracted to you more and more effortlessly so, more and more quickly so, more and more abundantly so, more and more richly so, more and more freely so, more and more healthily so, more and more happily so, for the sake of everyone and everything, through you, through the inspiration that is you. So you gotta unmix your frequencies before you can really master some of the next lessons that I'm going to talk about. So practice this in your own life. And when you feel that you at least have a handle on how this process works, I'll meet you in the next lesson.